Dear Diary, Lately I've been thinking, God, I just wish there was one guitar that could do what all others do. If only there was one that sounded like an, an acoustic, an electric, and then one that also sounded maybe like a, like a piano or an oboe. Yeah, that's good. Of course, I also want it to be real sexy, maybe red and black. Also, I don't want to have to be like careful with it. So if it was built out of something that was almost indestructible, carbon fiber, <laughs> yeah, because that's light too. I want some like red carbon fiber. Gray carbon fiber is so 2004. Hopefully one day my dream will come true. Who is it? Well, I don't know what's going on, guys. I just found this on my doorstep. And you know, it makes me wonder, can dreams really come true? Let's open it up and find out. Ooh la la. All right, this is the brand new Virtuo model from Emerald Guitars. And this is kind of like their new flagship model. This guitar is basically designed to do pretty much everything that all of their guitars combined can do. It can sound like an electric. It sounds like an electric single coil, humbucker. It has piezo pickups in it. It even has a MIDI pickup on it. So you can plug it into a MIDI system and basically get it to sound like anything from like an oboe to uh, organ, to drums, to vocals. You know, it's basically anything you can patch into that MIDI system, you can get this guitar to trigger and control. In addition to that, it is just beautiful. I mean, look at this thing. It's got this beautiful wood veneer on top that is not only a great veneer, but it is uh, stained and the, just bring the black out, the, the red stain on it, the gloss, the high gloss finish this kind of dark uh, sunburst, sort of like a vignette around the sides. It's so tasteful. I also love the, uh, the kind of dark chrome look to, the, uh, to the, all of the knobs, to the tuners, and it even matches on these Fishman uh, humbucker pickups right here. It's got two of these Fishman humbuckers. Now from the front, you know, it looks like uh, basically a wooden guitar because of that wooden veneer, but actually the entire guitar from the headstock, the neck, the body, it's all formed carbon fiber. So look at, you know, just how that carbon fiber looks. And I love the fact too, that they're not, they're not confining themselves just to that kind of gray and black carbon fiber. Not that that's not beautiful, but uh, they've got this red carbon fiber. They've got several colors you can actually choose on the carbon fiber itself, not just the veneer on the front. You can see that access panel in the back also has the matching carbon fiber. And the whole thing is just seamless. I mean, this cutaway down here, is so deep and, and allows you such easy access to the high frets right there. The back of the neck goes all the way up to the body, like into the cutaway. It's a really unusual and really well-designed uh, neck contour right there. Another cool and unusual kind of sculptural um, feature of the body style and the body shape is this sound hole right here. It's a really cool placement and it looks great the way that it, you know, kind of cuts into both the top but also the sides. And it also allows the sound to be projected at the player. So the player gets a good amount of volume coming from the guitar. There's also contours on the forearm right here and contours on the back uh, that really make it, again, very ergonomic, very comfortable. Also another contour down here so that when you're playing the high frets and reaching over, you don't have this uh, you know, 90 degree angle impeding your ability to reach those high frets. But like any good hot rod, you know, the paint job isn't the only thing. What really matters is also under the hood. And this baby is sporting so many different uh, features and so many different pickups and settings down here. Um, I'm gonna dig into those right now. So today I've got two plugs with me here. I've got my regular guitar cable, my quarter inch um, mono guitar cable. And today I've got something different. I've got my MIDI cable here. So I'm gonna plug both of these into the guitar at the same time. All right, I'm gonna plug my quarter inch in first, and then I'll plug the MIDI cable in right there next to it. Also, you can see right here, nice and seamless, is the panel for the nine volt battery. All right, so first things first, when you plug in a guitar like this, it's good to know what the knobs do. So let me go over that really quick. 
Okay, let's start down here. This first knob actually controls the piezo pickup inside. And what we've got on this guitar is a GraphTech Ghost piezo system. So the piezo pickups are actually in the bridge here, in the saddles. And this small toggle switch over here controls whether you're going all the way to the magnetic pickups, all the way to the piezo pickups, or a blend of the two. Let's listen to that piezo pickup. Super controlled sound, great response. And uh, when you're on the stage, it gives you a really good, um, you know, piezo kind of acoustic representation of what's going on with the guitar. Also, the fact that the uh, guitar itself is a hollow body and um, you get that nice resonant chamber inside, it gives you not just the acoustic tone from the pickups itself, from the piezo pickup, but you also get that acoustic quality kind of by the way that the guitar is resonating in and of itself. All right, so we covered the piezo pickup. Let's go to these magnetic pickups, the two Fishman pickups here. And I really like what Emerald Guitars did with the design and the blueprint of this guitar because they wanted you to be able to get those classic humbucker tones, uh, both vintage and modern tones, but they also wanted to be able to give you those single coil tones, you know, that's a little bit, little bit thinner, a little bit more mellow, something you can really dig into. All right, so first of all, use this toggle switch which will flip you over from piezo mode to electric guitar, uh, magnetic pickup mode. These top two knobs control all the functionality for the electric guitar pickups. This one right here is the volume knob, and this one right here is the tone knob. So it feels a lot like kind of a classic guitar setup when it comes to those two knobs. The difference is when you pull out the tone knob, you're engaging the coil split on both pickups and turning these humbuckers into single coils. When you push that tone knob in, you get the humbucker setting back. All right, so now we're in humbucker mode. Let's hear the difference. All right, so you got single coils, you got humbuckers, but if that's not enough, you can actually pull the volume knob as well, and that adds basically a hot rod setting to the humbucker pickups and just boosts that output to more to that like modern level and uh, really gives you some, uh, s some lead tones to dig into. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So just by pushing and pulling those two knobs, you can really get uh, such a volume difference, an attack difference, um, a different response from the guitar. And it's, it's no simulations, like the actual pickup is changing basically. So you get all those tones analog, you get all those tones naturally. So you can start out, let's say on single coil tone. Let's say you uh, want to dig in as the song gets a little more intense into humbucker mode. Let's say it gets uh, time for that lead guitar solo, you pull it into hot rod mode and now you got that screaming kind of lead tone. I know what you're thinking. So basically you have four guitars, you've got an acoustic electric guitar, you've got an electric guitar with single coil pickups, you've got an electric with vintage humbuckers, you've got one with modern humbuckers, but what about the vampire that lives in your attic who always asks you to play him some creepy pipe organ whenever he comes down to get burritos? Luckily, the Virtuo has a MIDI pickup inside, so I've got that covered. And that leads us to this fourth and final volume knob down here. This is the volume for the MIDI pickup and the MIDI output. And if you're not too familiar with uh, MIDI and what MIDI does and what MIDI pickups do, it's not just haunted house organ. The MIDI actually sends a signal out uh, to the MIDI controller, whatever that may be. It might be in your DAW, it might be a pedal like I've got here. So you know, you can go from playing that organ to something like a jazz bass. <laughs> Let's say it's Friday night, you want to go to the club, but you don't have money for an Uber. So as you can tell, the sky is the limit with the MIDI tones, um, the textures, the pads, the special effects that you can get with them. It's, it's pretty much endless. So that's it, baby. That is the Virtuo guitar from Emerald Guitars. Blowing my mind. Really comfortable, light, heavy duty, versatile, versatile, versatile guitar. Uh, does everything you would want. It's really cool. And I know what you're thinking. You know, sure, Emerald Guitars uh, adds a lot of features to their guitars. Sure, they look awesome. Sure, they sound great. But what if I want to design my own guitar and I want to be able to see it ahead of time, pick out the wood veneers, pick out the colors, and I don't want to have to imagine things? Well, they got that too. On their website, they've got a 3D guitar builder, and you can actually go in, pick from all their models, choose the actual veneers you want, the woods, the stains, 
the, the color of carbon fiber, the kind of pickups you want, choose your inlay, and you can see every detail of the guitar in basically a 3D representation on your screen in real time. And it really, I mean, it's actually really good. It feels like you're right there in front of the guitar. It's pretty amazing. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank uh, Emerald Guitars for making this beauty and sending it out to me uh, to check out and share with you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification also so you're notified whenever I post new videos. Thanks. You guys rock. Thank <laughs> you.